Excellent matchup tonight, and with a nod to Queen, under pressure. You can hear the song playing right now. Nathan McKinnon said after they lost last year, Steve, that, listen, I haven't done blank in this league yet. And as you mentioned, Connor McDavid, seven seasons yet to make a deep run. Who's got more pressure, Abs or Oilers? Uh, I think the Abs do, only because, and I picked them the last three years to come out of the West and, and be in the Stanley Cup Finals. And each time, as you see, uh, they lost in the second round. And so they have, you know, they win a playoff series, but then they're kind of done. And, you know, great team. That, that, that's not a good sign. And, and they've had those players, and a lot of those players that are on the, the, the uh, roster right now have been around for a little little bit of time, uh, except for Darcy Kemper. So maybe that helps change their fortunes. But right now, I think they've got the most pressure on them. And obviously, Edmonton does too, because you know they got the best player in the world. Uh, Leon Dreisaitl, one of the top 10 players in the NHL. So uh, pressure on them too. But I think more than anything, because Colorado, the expectations have been there the last three years. Probably a little more uh, pressure on them. Yeah, I'd say Colorado, too. They're in win-now mode. They have been in win-now for a little while. So I think that there's a lot of pressure on that group. Because don't forget, too, they, these, they're going to have to start doling out some new contracts here, too. And it's going to change the way they can kind of, I don't want to say free spend. They've made very shrewd decisions mm. in the last couple of seasons. But it's going to get more and more difficult to have a powerhouse team like they have right now. Um, the only other thing I'll say about Edmonton, though, there is, like, like you mentioned, Connie, a lot of pressure on them, too, because I think if they, if, if the Edmonton Oilers in the playoffs have just a, a whimper, like yeah. they've if been. If they lose the Kings in the first round. If they lose to the Kings in the first round, I'm telling you, yeah. the ticker for Connor McDavid. To leave town. To leave town is, is going to be going a little bit quicker. Yeah. And so that, that's kind of what they have to deal with. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I don't know. There, nobody has the expectations for the Oilers like we do Colorado. Right. But Connor needs to start seeing some improvement here with the group. And uh, so, yeah, a lot of pressure on both teams. Yeah, they're going to, with a win streak tonight, Edmonton are in a playoff spot, third straight year. That's their longest streak since a five-year run in the late 90s. But to, to Rupper's point, Steve, I just got to think, if you're Connor McDavid, seven years, like, I'm here to win in the playoffs. If we lose the Kings, if they beat the Kings and lose in the second round, hard five, six or seven gamer, okay, that happens. If you lose that first round, that's going to be tough to swallow. It, it will be, and there'll be changes there. And, and does Connor want to leave? Will he demand a trade? Who knows? Uh, Ken Holland, does he keep his job as a general manager there? Who knows? Uh, you know, but right now, the goaltending is playing the way that they had hoped at the beginning of the year. It certainly wasn't there the first oh, three and a half months, but it's gotten a lot better lately. Defensively, they've really tightened things up. That's a good sign going into the playoffs. But if they're one and done in the playoffs, uh, there'll be some big changes. Uh, and, and, and not just on the ice, I think upstairs you might see some people get shuffled. You're right about Kenny Holland. The guy's a Hall of Famer, but there's no denying the fact he has not had nearly as much success in this era of hockey. The Wings, in the past, no question. The scouting development, outstanding. But now it's been a different ballgame with Kenny Holland. They know they need to step up there, the Edmonton Oilers.